it was a pretty difficult uh, year to ensure that I was getting enough calories and nutrients. He needed to have enough calories to fight the radiation. My concern during the radiation was how was I going to feed him. It knocks out most of your salivary glands. It did affect my taste buds. The doctor at the time of the surgery did put in a feeding tube because he was not going to be able to swallow. The feeding tube was really his only source of nutrition or hydration for the rest of the seven weeks. You just hold the other end of the feeding tube as a little like a funnel and you can pour it in and then later you can liquefy some other foods. So I would make these soups and the puree, every kind of vegetable that I could find. We did, we, we got a machine and we were pureeing, I think even chicken. Yeah. And you liked it. It was basically liquid, we liquefied. It was all liquid. All liquefied. You just have to be sure you're getting enough calories every day, which in my case was 2,000 to 2,500 calories a day. They also weigh you to make sure that you're not losing weight because it's going to affect your overall health and the effects of the radiation and everything. But he also was able to start eating soft things, remember? It would be soft fruit, applesauce. Applesauce, mashed potatoes, I loved. Things that were very moist, uh, you were able to digest and the doctors were correct and you actually started to gain back your strength a little bit and at that point your weight starts to come back a little bit and you start to get some color in your face and you see the light at the end of the tunnel. 